an infant was sleeping under a tree in the jungle a parrot which was residing on the tree flew and landed on the infant's trunk the bird started irritating the elephant with its beak it suddenly woke up and was annoyed with the parrot it flew and landed back on its tree and said eh hey, i could wake you up made fun of the elephant it thought it's okay it's a small bird the elephant excused the parrot and went back to its sleep let us know about articles a and the are called articles a and an are called indefinite articles whereas the is called definite article let us know about indefinite articles a and an these are considered as adjectives also because a or an refers to one now let us know when do we use a and when do we use an if the word gives vowel sound at the beginning then we have to use the indefinite article an and if the word gives consonant sound then we have to use the indefinite article a now let us take the first two sentences an elephant was sleeping under a tree in the jungle here an elephant before elephant we use an because in elephant the sound it produces is vowel at the beginning elephant a a sound is produced so since it is vowel sound we have to use an in the same sentence we have a tree here t gives consonant sound tree so here tree it gives consonant sound then we have to use indefinite article a let us take the second sentence a parrot which was residing on the tree flew a parrot here in the case of parrot also p is a consonant it gives consonant sound at the beginning so we use the letter a which was residing on the tree now let us discuss about the definite article the let us read first two sentences again an elephant was sleeping under a tree in the jungle here we said a tree when we are talking about the tree for the first time there are many trees and this tree is one among them then we have to use uh, a or an in uh, we already discussed for vowel sound an is used for consonant sound a is used anyway when we are talking about the first time we have to use either a or an a tree in the jungle there is only one jungle so we have to use only the, uh, definite article the a parrot which was residing on the tree when we are talking about the same tree then we can use the second time we can use the second time onwards we have to use the so here it as it specifies it is said to be definite article the is called definite article clearly when you observe the sentences first time when we are talking about elephant we used an elephant similarly a parrot but second time onwards when you observe the paragraph we can understand the parrot the elephant we used so the definite article the is used when we are talking about the same thing second time onwards then we have to use the indefinite def, sorry definite article the let us continue with the story and you yourself can observe the articles which are used in different paragraphs the mistress parrot again sat on its trunk and started disturbing the elephant again it woke up and said you mistress parrot how many times i have to tell you don't disturb me from my sleep you mind your own business the parrot was scared and flew back the next day morning the elephant went to the river to take bath the parrot thought eh the biggest animal is scared of me and is hiding in the water third time it sat on elephant's back and continued to act this time elephant decided to teach the parrot a lesson it filled its trunk with water and sprayed on the parrot it was breathless 
Then it realized the power of elephant and requested, "I am very sorry, my dear brother elephant. I am not able to breathe. I am drowning. Please save my life." The broad-bended elephant stretched its trunk. The parrot climbed up, and with the support of its trunk, it flew away. In various contexts, we use the definite article "the." The next day, normally when we use the uh, words like first, second, third, we can use uh, the definite article "the." Now, let us observe the second and third sentences. A. The biggest animal is scared of me. Here, the biggest. We know biggest is the superlative form of big. So, when the word is in superlative degree, we have to use the definite article "the" before it. Even in many more contexts, we use the definite article "the." For example, for universal objects, when we are talking about, we use the definite article "the." Now let us know where we shouldn't use any article. For uncountable nouns, we should not use any article. Let us observe the sixth sentence. It filled its trunk with water. Water is uncountable nouns, so we should not place any article. But when we are specifying the same uncountable noun, then we can use the definite article the. For abstract nouns also, we should not use any article. Thus, have all these things in mind while reading or writing any stories in the uses of articles.